Picture this. Your sweet, cheerful child suddenly transforms into a door slamming, eye rolling, emotionally explosive teenager who thinks you're the worst person on the planet. Sound familiar? If you're a parent, teacher, or even a teen yourself wondering, what the heck is happening here? You're in the right place. Today we're diving deep into the fascinating science behind teenage moodiness. And spoiler alert, it's not just hormones, though they definitely play a starring role. So, why are teens so moody? Let's start with a mind-blowing fact that might surprise you. For decades, scientists believed that brain development was basically complete by early childhood. Wrong. Recent research has completely flipped this idea on its head. The teenage brain is actually undergoing some of the most dramatic changes since infancy. Think of it like a massive renovation project happening inside their heads. Walls are being torn down, new connections are being built, and sometimes the construction crew is working with faulty blueprints. The prefrontal cortex, that's your brain's CEO, responsible for planning, decision-making, and impulse control, isn't fully developed until around age 25. Meanwhile, the limbic system, which controls emotions and reward-seeking, is firing on all cylinders. It's like having a Ferrari engine with bicycle brakes. The emotional accelerator is floored, but the rational thinking brakes are still being installed. This explains why your teenager might have a complete meltdown over a minor inconvenience, or why they make decisions that seem completely irrational to adult brains. Their emotional responses are cranked up to 11, while their ability to regulate those emotions is still under construction. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, hormones. Puberty doesn't just change how teens look, it completely rewires how they feel and behave. During adolescence, the body releases a cocktail of hormones including testosterone, estrogen, and growth hormones. These chemical messengers don't just affect physical development, they're literally altering brain chemistry and emotional processing. But here's what's really interesting. Stress hormones like cortisol affect teenagers completely differently than adults. While stress might make an adult more cautious, it actually makes teens more likely to take risks and feel more anxious at the same time. Talk about a double whammy. And let's not forget about sleep. These hormonal changes shift teenagers' circadian rhythms, making them naturally want to stay up later and sleep in longer. So when your teen seems exhausted and grumpy at 7 a.m., they're literally fighting against their biology. Imagine trying to function at your best when your internal clock is constantly jet-lagged. That's the reality for most teenagers, and it definitely contributes to emotional volatility. Now let's discuss the social brain takeover. Here's where things get really fascinating. During adolescence, the brain becomes hyper-tuned to social information. It's not just that teens care more about their friends. Their brains are literally rewired to prioritize social connections. From an evolutionary perspective, this makes perfect sense. Adolescence is when humans historically would start forming relationships outside their family unit, seeking mates, and establishing their place in the broader community. The brain encourages this by making social acceptance feel incredibly rewarding and social rejection feel devastating. This is why being excluded from a group chat can feel like the end of the world to a teenager. Their brain is processing social rejection similarly to physical pain. The same neural pathways that would fire if they were physically hurt are activated by social exclusion. Peer influence becomes incredibly powerful during this time. It's not that teens are weak or easily manipulated. Their brains are specifically designed to be more influenced by peers than by adults. This encourages genetic diversity and helps them learn the social skills they'll need as adults. The flip side, this intense focus on social acceptance can lead to risky behaviors. When the social brain is saying, do this to fit in, and the rational brain isn't fully online yet, teens might make choices they'd never make as adults. Let's address the big question. Why do teenagers seem to have such poor judgment, especially when it comes to risky behaviors? The answer lies in how the teenage brain processes rewards and risks. The reward centers are incredibly active during adolescence, more active than they'll ever be again. This means that potential rewards feel more exciting and motivating to teens than to adults. At the same time, the brain regions responsible for risk assessment and long-term planning are still developing. It's not that teens can't understand risks intellectually. They can often list dangers better than adults. But in the moment, especially when they're emotional or with peers, 
their ability to weigh those risks against immediate rewards becomes compromised. This combination explains why statistically, despite being at their physical peak health, teenagers face increased risks of death from accidents and mental health challenges like anxiety and depression. Their brains are driving them toward exciting experiences while their safety systems are still buffering. But here's the silver lining. This same neural setup that makes teens prone to risky behavior also makes them incredibly adaptable, passionate learners, and capable of forming deep, meaningful relationships. The superpowers of the teenage brain. Before you start feeling sorry for teenagers, or if you are a teen watching this, let's talk about the incredible advantages of the adolescent brain. First, neuroplasticity. The teenage brain's ability to form new neural connections is extraordinary. This means teens can learn new skills, languages, and concepts faster than adults. Their brains are like high-speed internet compared to adults' dial-up connections. Second, that intense emotional capacity that causes so much drama, it also enables incredible passion, creativity, and empathy. Teenagers can become deeply invested in causes, hobbies, and relationships in ways that often diminish with age. Third, their social superpowers. While peer influence can lead to poor decisions, it also enables teens to form incredibly strong friendships, develop sophisticated social skills, and create communities. The same brain wiring that makes them sensitive to social rejection also makes them highly attuned to others' emotions and needs. And finally, their openness to new experiences and willingness to challenge existing systems often drive social progress and innovation. Many of history's most important movements have been led by young people whose brains were wired to question the status quo. So, why are teens so moody? The answer is beautifully complex. They're navigating a perfect storm of brain reconstruction, hormonal changes, shifted sleep patterns, intense social pressures, and heightened emotional sensitivity, all while their regulatory systems are still under construction. But here's what's crucial to understand. This isn't a bug in human development, it's a feature. The same neural changes that make adolescence challenging also prepare teens for the independence, social connection, and adaptive thinking they'll need as adults. For parents and educators, patience and understanding go a long way. Remember that your teen's brain is literally under construction. Provide structure and support while recognizing that some emotional intensity is not just normal, it's necessary. For teens watching, be kind to yourself. Your brain is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. The moodiness, the intense feelings, the social drama, it's all part of becoming the person you're meant to be. The teenage years are marked by rapid brain changes, heightened emotions, and social prioritization, making them both challenging and transformative. And honestly, that's pretty amazing. The teenage brain, challenging, transformative, and amazing. What's your experience with teenage moodiness? Drop a comment below and let's start a conversation. And if this video helped you understand the teens in your life a little better, smash that like button and subscribe for more fascinating insights into human behavior. Thanks for watching. And remember, every moody teenager is just a brain under construction, building something incredible.